Hello Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a reading to see what your person secretly wants to tell you. So we'll see what the cards can reveal. Um, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like, share or a subscribe. Um, otherwise, let's jump into it and see what comes up. This is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, another three cards here. Okay, there is definitely something here that they wish to reveal to you. Okay, the Empress and the High Priestess have come up. Um, so straight off the bat, I'm thinking there is someone here who wants to have children with you. Um, okay, they want to grow or they want to be a family. Okay, there's someone who wants to be a family with you, a family unit. You know, we've got that. It's come up really strong. So there's someone here who wants to tell you this, that they see you someone they could be having a family with. And this is really beautiful. Okay, this is cards of like settling down and having that family unit. So how beautiful. Um, so, okay, so we've got the family. We've got a few things. We've got someone who wants to settle down with you. Okay, the world card. I feel like there's someone here who wants to travel with you or possibly relocate with you in mind especially if this is a long distance connection okay if this is someone from further away okay you guys aren't physically together maybe they work overseas um maybe they've got a trip planned it could be that they want to take you with them um or it could be that they want to come and see you or there's an invitation here um, that they want to invite you to you know they want to create a world with you they want to create a life with you um and they're wishing for you very deeply they've got the nine of cups here now this is Pisces, strong pisces energy queen of wands is uh also here so that's leo but you know emotionally they want to tell you that they've been wishing for someone like you um, you know, you've been fulfilling a lot of their wishes and I think they secretly want to tell you that they're very inspired by you. It's almost like they could watch you just be in your element, you know, just doing something you like to do. Um, you know, maybe you're writing or while you're playing the piano or you're doing something creative. This person is just admiring you for that. Um, they love how passionate you are or how immersed you are in that. Um, and that's really, really beautiful. I get with the High Priestess and there's a black cat here. I get that there may be trust issues. Okay, um, air signs. We are known to be flirts. Queen of Wands is here and she's she's the flirt. Look at her. She's here. So this makes me think there's someone who might be a little bit worried um, about losing you as well. I'm just going to throw out whatever comes up in the cards. And what I get is they're fearful that someone else is going to come along and get you, pick you up, um, impress you. And I think, yeah, they're fearful of that happening. They're fearful of you committing to them um, and leaving them. You know, they, they, they don't want to be left behind. They don't want to be disconnected or left behind. And, and I think there's fear there. The black cat is like superstition. So I get there is someone maybe paranoid. Um, they're either paranoid about, you know, maybe you've communicated and you're like, yes, yes, I want kids. I want a family. Maybe then they don't believe that wholeheartedly. Um, they want that with you. I think the desire is here. The intention is here. I don't know maybe they're second that maybe they're doubting it now um maybe there's like doubt that's coming to their mind like are they this person are they this empress or are they that queen of wands because they're two very different personalities um 
Queen of Wands is sort of like just wants to party, wants to be out with social, you know, doesn't really want all that responsibility. The Empress is different. The Empress happily takes on those responsibilities and, and, and motherly duties. And this is two different personas coming in. This is like she's like the bachelorette. She's the 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 one that projects single dam and is happy in their own bubble. And this is the more settled. You know, this is like the housewife. So I don't know. This is like tradition versus like non-traditional. So maybe there's someone here who's wishing you are maybe more settled somehow. But, you know, the world card is here and it can symbolize closure or endings. And there's two nines. So I think for some of you, there's someone who may secretly want to end the connection but hasn't done that as yet. Again, it may be because you guys have differences in what you want in family life, home life, living situation. You know, maybe you're the type that just, you want, you want that social aspect or, you know, you don't want to settle down. You don't, you want to travel still. You want to live out there. And I think there's a, there's a difference in priorities here maybe. And this person is sensing it. They can see it or they're paranoid about it. I get like a paranoia. Um, it could also be like a reflection of self insecurity because we've got, Leo and Pisces energy. Um, I get a vibe that I get a vibe with the world card that they what was my vibe? I've lost my vibe. I've had a mental blank just now. Um, <laughs> what was it? The the world card, oh, I can't remember what I was going to say. Bear with me, it'll come to me. Mm. What was it? The world card um, is like, <clears throat> they want to give you the world or they're fearful someone else is going to come up and, and give that to you. So they're keeping a close eye out on you, to be honest. We've got the owl. Nine of Pentacles is like the news card and the owl watches and sees everything. So this person is trying to be vigilant. I actually get a sense that they're like assessing your behavior. Maybe you're in like a probation period of your relationship um, and they're like assessing, assessing that behavior, to be honest. They're assessing, you know, your personality, your friends. I mean, there could be judgment going on here. And they're sort of just trying to see where you fit into their life and how you fit into their life. And if you can be the person they want you to be, especially in this like maternal or paternal role, regardless of your gender, it's like they want to see if you can be the person that lives the home and family life. And that obviously is important to them. Tradition is important to them. So they're sort of weighing you up against this and going, you know, they could be secretly judging your behavior. Like, okay, she went out, she didn't get home or he didn't get home till late at night, seven o'clock in the morning, like, where were they? Are they ready for the serious commitment? So, you know, I, I get that they secretly might want to like bring it up to you, but they haven't as yet. The world card can be exposure. So I think eventually they may do that. High priestess can be like revealing something. It could also be that they want to reveal something on their end as well. <clears throat> What's sitting next to the high priestess? We've got the nine of pentacles. They may have recently cut ties with someone here and they haven't revealed it yet to you. Could be an ex, could be a friend, could be someone that they maybe left for you. Um, I think it's a positive cutting of ties though. Could be like an addiction as well. I think they've done the right thing. But like their ego or emotions are preventing them from saying it right now. So give that time, okay, give, give that, um, give this person the time that they need because right now I feel like they're still just keeping an eye out and eventually it'll come to a point I feel like they might want to address and reveal things because the high priestess, she knows how to reveal things. So maybe that's the message here. Uh, I'll leave it at that uh, air signs. Thank you again. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it really does mean a lot. 
um, and I do hope to be in touch again very, very soon. So uh, don't forget to drop a like, share or a subscribe. Um, that'll be much appreciated. Otherwise, uh, hopefully we'll be in touch very soon. So um, thank you so much, everyone. And bye for now.